our interest and my interest particularly was in design as it relates to uh, the great issues of our time, the great pressing uh, human needs and how design can make a huge difference in in how uh, how people live together. And uh, so uh, I was, uh, of course, being a psych- social psychologist mm-hmm. as I was, uh, we were, uh, we began there. And that was very much uh, accepted by the other deans. Uh, mm-hmm. they, they were fully, fully uh, appreciative of that. So the, that meant we weren't going to have just a standard uh, group of... Uh, th- our idea was to get, uh, first of all, this was, this was in 1969, Mm-hmm. And uh, we were just beginning to learn about uh, conservation and energy uh, and uh, the way in which land was misused and so forth. It wasn't brand new, but there were, compared to now, mm-hmm. there was very few people who understood much about it. Ecology was a brand new field almost. Mm-hmm. It was just a few years few years old and uh, uh, and so uh, we decided we wanted those those people so we recruited a, a bunch of people we had a physicist we had an ecologist we had uh, an environmental psychologist we had uh, several ar- architects with social responsibility as a as a key to their uh, approach uh we 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 hired uh, a wonderful graphics designer i I was very interested in in civil rights Mm -hmm. and and involved in those movements at the time you know in the 60s and Mm -hmm. and, uh so sheila de brettville who was the graphic designer that we hired and we had hired her husband too he was a great architect uh, they were both on the faculty at Yale, mm-hmm. and they we joined, we recruited them to to and she and uh, I got very much involved with with her uh, at uh, the intellectual level and mm-hmm. uh, and uh, she became convinced that the women's rights issue was important mm-hmm. uh, and uh, so she devoted herself fully to that and. Uh, so here we were as a as a design school with a graphic designer who was completely absorbed with the liberation of women. Mm-hmm. And turns out there's a lot you can do mm-hmm. if you are a, a graphic designer. And mm-hmm. in terms of the, and so uh, so mm-hmm. I would say that human liberation and civil rights were one of the guiding forces. Uh, we we were very concerned about conservation of ener- ener- energy and uh, and ecology and uh, and it was uh, a hmm. a, a most interesting mm-hmm. uh, uh, time mm-hmm. because nobody else almost nobody else in the country was doing anything like it. There were there were things that, that were beginning to happen. Uh, there was concern at that time was pretty fairly early in the game, but a uh, concern about the disabled and uh uh and uh so we hired victor Papanek, who's already who was already famous for having done remarkable things to enable people who were disabled to do things that uh that they wouldn't have been able to do and 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 not just disabled people but he would take Take for example a a uh, an African community that was so uh, so kind of remote that they did had no access to radios or mm-hmm. anything like that. But he designed a radio that could be made for three cents out of a tin can and some wires, mm-hmm. and uh, and it enabled them to have contact with news thousands of miles away right, right. and uh, so so it was quite quite impressive 
as I've, I've long had a, uh, a concern about the professional societies, and uh, for example, in architecture. Now, I, I not long ago was a member of the board of directors of the AIA, the American mm-hmm. Institute of Architects. And one of the things they teach their people is to uh, serve the market, uh, try to uh, serve people's wants, and and to uh, certainly uh, obey the instructions of owners and and uh, uh, directors of the or organizations they that are their clients. And uh, I find that subordinating them their professional judgment to the the demands of owners mm-hmm. to be quite uh, uh, responsible for mm-hmm. the wreckage that we call design in, in America now. <laughs> and uh, mm-hmm. to that at the time. So the professional thing, I, I was already, I think, n- not, not uh, interested in licensing and so forth. I thought it was, I still do now think that say architectural licenses are not desirable so we didn't try to get people prepared to to join professional societies mm-hmm. or to get licensed because we thought those people were on the wrong track mm-hmm. and because the, they really weren't interested in in the kinds of things we were interested in which was which were solving social problems and uh and becoming environmentally conscious mm-hmm. and and uh, more culturally responsible. Uh, mm-hmm. so that's still true. <laughs> if I were doing a, a school now, I, I wouldn't try to get our people uh, licensed. I mean, we had political scientists on our faculty, and so it was just, it was not at all what, what people would think of uh, in those days as a design oriented. Uh, program. It was very, very... But it's what now, I think, is designed... I think we were on the right track then. And Mm -hmm. uh, gradually, people are becoming more interested in sustainability and Mm -hmm. more... And uh, that's finally... But they're... That's that's about as far as they've taken it so far, because they think, well, that's... As long as we're socially responsible Mm -hmm. about sustainability, then we didn't have to do anything else. Mm -hmm. And, of course, that's just the beginning. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's even even full of questionable factors still about how how to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, But what we can do about criminal justice or education or health care or something other, just so many things we could do. And... uh, they still aren't turning their attention fully to those things. We didn't have a set curriculum that everybody had to follow, so you could you you very much could could determine pretty much your own your own uh, track as you wanted to go into it, and uh, you could emphasize certain things, and uh, which we which we did, and so. I, you you would try to enable people to do what they wanted to do as much as possible, and uh, then they, we also try to enable them to get the best out of the faculty members that we had. We had some really brilliant faculty members, and we wanted the, the way we organized the the classes, uh, which were not based upon tests and grades and things like that. We're, they're much more organized around the achievement of actual projects. And and so I think that, again, I probably wouldn't wouldn't deviate too much from that now if I were doing it over again. Mm -hmm. Uh, We were, you see, most of the research on grades and curriculum and so forth show it to be not very helpful. So we try to give people more of what they came for, but Mm -hmm. uh, that's doesn't always go down easily with other other faculty members or with uh, but but we had a we had a well chosen faculty and they were such a distinguished group and we gave them their head and they I don't know I thought I thought it was a, I thought it was a terrific school myself 
Mm-hmm. However, it, we didn't succeed, as you as you probably know. Eventually, mm-hmm. closed, and uh, I yeah. I wasn't fired, but I probably would have been had I stayed on. And uh, we we changed uh, deans, we changed the associate deans, and eventually uh, Victor Papanek took over, and then he he got I think thrown out. And then the guy came in. Actually, one of the old guys from uh, Chenard came in, uh, okay. who we hadn't accepted. You know, and, <laughs> and he came in and became dean. And then, and then they finally just folded it up uh, and folded the the thing into the art department. Right. Um, so do you know did, why the design school was canceled? I don't. I don't exactly. I think they felt that I I hadn't done the job right, and so. Uh, I wasn't any good at uh, at the uh, at the levels of what, of what uh, others others had come to expect. I, I think maybe that was part of it, but uh, I don't really I don't really know if to, to tell you the truth. I don't think that if you looked at what we did now from this perspective. Mm-hmm. You would think that it was quite ahead of the game, oh. and I don't honestly know. I can't remember really why. I'm sure if you talk to other guys, mm-hmm. and maybe you are talking to somebody, mm-hmm. other ones, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. Uh, they could probably give you a better answer to mm-hmm. that than I than I could. But uh, mm-hmm. they, yeah, it's they, interesting. I've gotten a couple of different uh, answers and speculations about why. Well, have you? <laughs> what 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 have, have you learned? Yeah. One of the one of the reasons why was because they had there was some controversy over Herbert Marcuse, who was going to become oh yeah um, hard into the well oh, oh, that was yeah that happened well that wasn't design school but but mm-hmm. it was partly uh, my problem uh, partly because I supported I supported the dean of the critical studies mm-hmm. who wanted who was a friend of Herbert's. Mm-hmm. And he wanted to hire him. Mm-hmm. I, 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 that's one of the big mistakes I made was in supporting that. Uh, I, I thought, well, you know, <clears throat> he really wanted, you know, this my, uh, Maurice, Maurice, who was the guy who was the dean of the school. Mm-hmm. Uh, he really wanted Marcuse. And Marcuse, I believed, was always in, in the right on the issues that he felt, but he was such a hugely controversial figure, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I knew that. And what I feel, was the big mistake I made, didn't hurt me so much, but it hurt, it may have hurt me in ways I didn't know, but uh, but it hurt Herb Blau and Bob Corrigan, uh, mm-hmm. because they were doing their best to protect us mm-hmm. when we made such controversial decisions about our faculty members. I mean, to hire an ecologist for a design school right. at the time was, or a political scientist, at the time didn't make much sense to mm-hmm. you know, people. And, uh, but, so, but Herbert Marcuse for a critical studies program mm-hmm. was a, 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 just a lucky break to be able to hire him. Uh, but, but I knew at the time that it was going to be tr- uh, a problem, and I, sh- I wish now that I had said to the group, you know, we owe Bob and Herb a lot for having protected us from a conservative mm-hmm. board of trustees run by Roy Disney, mm-hmm. and we know this is going to get them in trouble, and mm-hmm. we are not being a supportive faculty if we go ahead and appoint a person that is so outrageously uh in, in identified with the things that people are currently mm-hmm. worried about mm-hmm. that oh, we I think it would be a mistake to hire Herbert. Mm-hmm. I wish I'd said that, mm-hmm. but I didn't I, I went ahead and supported him. That was a, my biggest mistake I think it was in that. But then so did the other people. All the other deans supported it too. One of the things that the funny things that happened was uh the, the swimming pool was then a you may have heard this was then a swimsuit optional <laughs> yeah. pool. Uh-huh. You've heard that, right? Maybe it still is for all I know. 
but I don't think so. But uh, that they, that knowledge finally got to the board. Uh-huh. The way the board meetings were run is that they were run by committees that included also faculty members and and students. And so uh, the agenda item came up about the swimsuit op- optional school uh, swimming school mm-hmm. and. Uh, and as soon as it, as soon as they said that that was the next thing they were going to discuss, um, Ben Lipson, who was a photographer on our design school mm-hmm. staff, got up, took off all his clothes, and sat down again. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <In> protest. <laughs> and everybody just laughed, and I didn't know what to do, you know. And finally, Roy Disney couldn't couldn't even hold the discussion, so they skipped it. You know. <laughs> It worked very well. <laughs> <laughs> One of the projects was the this this Aspen Design Conference project. Um, can you talk a little bit yes, about we, that? Oh experience? yeah, that was that was a terrific thing we did. I thought we uh, because I had been made uh, program chairman of the design conference uh, just at the same time I got the deanship, so. I decided to mobilize the student body and see if we could uh, all uh, go to the design conference and and uh, we could uh, put on some some things of our own. And so we did that. We got a bus and uh, and uh, took, I don't know how many, 50 kids or something like that uh, who were in the students and, and uh, we took... I took a bunch of faculty members. So we had a hell of a conference. It was a very popular conference, one of the best. And it was all sort of a show for Cal Arts because it was mostly our faculty members and mostly our students that were doing a lot of the work at the conference. The students, I think they, I think we had some, I think we actually had some project demonstrations there that we were working on mm-hmm. and uh, and then the students did a lot of jobs at the conference that it needed to be done you know and uh, they had a chance to go to the conference free and, and it was a very good conference and it's a famous famous conference and so that was something to be able to associate with the, the thousand other people that go to that thing and, and so it was just a good trip for them, and they had a really great time. 